The canopy is really any place above the forest floor. It's where the atmosphere meets the forest. It's basically the, the power plant of the planet. It's where energy is transformed from the sunlight, from sunlight energy to leaves, which then get transferred to all parts of the ecosystem. Scientists have been studying the canopy now for over 20 years. I've been at it for 22 years, and we have a really good idea of some things in the canopy. We've studied the biomass or the living material there. We've inventoried some of the plants and animal species that live there. But I've been feeling in recent years that what we're missing is sort of the, the spirit of it, the, the heart of it. What does it mean to us as humans? How do we describe the canopy? A place where really very few people other than scientists have been. And that's what I've been trying to figure out. <laughs> flute maker and a flute player. Um, I pretty much came to this project to emotionally translate what I feel when I'm in this canopy to music. You come on the breath of east wind. I'm a composer and what I'm doing here is getting the inspiration to express the music that I already feel. The project itself is actually pretty simple. Basically, I invited a number of people who represented expertise in different fields, ecology, art, music, forestry, economics, to come to a site, a, a site here that has both old growth forest and managed forests. We brought them in, we set up tents for them, we gave them gear, uh, climbing gear, mountain climbing gear. We taught them how to climb and they brought along their instruments and they brought along their oboes and their wooden flutes and their opera voice and their pots of paint and whatever they wanted to bring up there to the platform and they started doing their own creative work. So it's really kind of setting the stage for what looks like this multi-disciplinary circus up in the treetops. It feels really natural to be up here in the canopy and it's funny how quickly you get used to it and just seeing people suspended up next to you. Well, surprisingly, I climbed the tree. I mean, I, I was somewhat, in many ways, the first time up for it. You know, I was really afraid of heights. I got over it really fast. It's always what I sing when I get up here. It's my little celebration that I made it up. And... We're trying to bring in people oh. who are good at perceiving and capturing and communicating what they see about the canopy. For me, the canopy has become a major subject in my work. I'm really interested in trying to capture what happens when light filters through the forest. I was on this platform that was just gently moving for three hours in the wind. And I started playing. I wasn't sure what I was trying to accomplish. But very soon, I realized that my playing would be changed forever because I was part of the wind. I like kind of letting the music create itself. I'm trying to translate that. I'm trying to take what I see, whether it's a tree or you know, a squirrel or a chipmunk or something, and I want to translate that into music. One of my favorite times um, of this, during this project has been when we all come back from our different journeys, our different little adventures. People come back tired but happy. They'll have their new pieces of art or their music in their head. And after dinner, we all sit around the campfire on stumps and we look at the campfire and we, we go around and we say, well, this is what I saw today, or this is what I thought about today, or I have a question for the ecologist. You could almost think about our group like we were a metaphor for the canopy. Because the diversity of what we're all contributing to each other is nourishing one another. What I've been learning from working with artists in this setting is that, in fact, artists can tell us a lot. They can tell us about colors. They can tell us about seeing light, about being aware of shapes and forms in a way that many scientists, myself included, aren't sensitive to. I learned a lot of forest ecology, which really enhanced my appreciation for the forest. You know, I thought, I was actually worried that I would, you know, somehow knowing the science of um, trees sequestering carbon and retaining soil and all of that would diminish my aesthetic appreciation for them, but it didn't. It just enhanced it enormously. In some ways, this is a new way of doing conservation. By providing information and music and art 
and ideas that concern all of the different values that a forest has, when we disseminate that out, when we give other people these products, I think that might be a way to move people to think about all of the values of forest ecosystems.